Okay, here's uh, my Sterling engine running on an ice pack. It's just starting up, so it's getting pretty slow, but after uh, a couple seconds, it'll actually speed up. I would run it on sunlight for you, but um, unfortunately, there's no sun out right now. Well, coming in through the window, I don't want to take it outside and put it on the ground because uh, the acrylic scratch is really easy and uh, it wouldn't be that great to look at anymore. But uh, yeah, now it's starting to speed up. Get a better look at it. Flywheel doesn't wobble like at all anymore. I fixed it. But uh, it will go pretty fast. I think. I had it like running at 60 RPM. Well, I don't have a one of those meters, so I um, used a stopwatch and I counted um, how many revolutions, and I got about 60 RPM off of the heat of my hand. So that was actually pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so I will set down the camera in a second and let that run but uh... let me grab something to put the camera on real quick okay be too far so there okay i will let that run and it should speed up and you could see or you should be able to see how it works it's set 90 degrees off the both cranks so one will rise and then um, the other will rise like right after I don't know if you could tell but um, you should be able to see that the displacer rises and then when it rises the piston will go down because it all the air will be at the bottom it will contract like I was talking about in my previous video and as it um, the displacer drops the piston will go up because all that air is rising to the hot plate which is the top one in this case but uh, it does run pretty fast off of sunlight if there is a lot so that's actually pretty cool but unfortunately as I said before no sunlight so yeah I got a uh, ice pack for you and I don't have any chemical hand warmers or something like that and I don't feel like running downstairs to grab a uh, cup of water and boil it but uh you should get the idea off the ice pack and it'll run for a long time even after I take it off the ice pack so uh yeah You should be able to see the 90 degrees with the uh, cranks up here. One's attached to the flywheel, and one's attached to the uh, crank shaft. And this is this would be the power piston, and this would be the displacer. I have tried making one of these out of scraps like tin cans and foam and CDs and all that but uh, I haven't been able to get this part sealed completely so that it would run and I don't have um, what is it heat resistant uh, adhesive so I wasn't able to completely seal up the uh, displacer without it leaking because I used um, hot glue which seals it really good but at the temperatures it needs to run it would melt so that would make it leak and I couldn't find anything to use as a power piston uh, really except for that balloon type kind of thing where it's got the um, diaphragm instead of a piston I tried that but I couldn't get it to run I don't know why I um, 
So, basically I haven't gotten one to run successfully yet. But, uh, yeah, I'll take this off now and you can see how long it runs. Okay, so, watch that run. Get a view from the back. It'll actually run for a long time. And that clicking is from the power piston because there's a rod coming out of it which attaches to the connecting rod and that hole is a little tiny bit bigger and the connecting rod will actually move up and down a little bit inside that hole that's what that clicking is uh, yeah so you get a look at that. I don't know if you can see that in there. And then the uh, displacer rod, there isn't much space. So, oh, and the power piston that clicking is also from it moving up and down before the connecting rod, does, the connecting rod does. And then you've got the flywheel, and you can see how that doesn't wobble anymore. If you do see a slight wobble, it's probably the camera because I'm a little shaky today. I don't know why. But uh, when I did get it, I had some problems with it because there was a crack in... Uh, it was like right here. Um, unfortunately, I deleted that picture so I won't be able to put it up on the video. But um, So it was leaking a little bit. And here it's going to stop in a little bit. But you can see how it's got that power. See, when it goes up, it's from the, because the top plate's heating up, and it, because it's pretty hot in here, and the bottom plate's heating up, so it's slowing down when it's going down. It's not contracting as fast anymore. And there it stopped. Okay, so if you have any questions um, or comments, I will delete negative comments, as always, so do not leave any negative comments. Um, yeah, so please comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that shit. See you later.